G'day there guys, Elfie here. Um, the audio for this recording got lost and didn't record properly and I'm not entirely sure why. And while I ran this class with three others, sorry, two others, three in total, the audio quality from the recordings I had from there, the video got lost and the audio recording was quite ordinary. So I'm going to try and narrate a little bit and explain what happened during the lesson. Um, so we did a bit of an introduction and then we teleported over to this mountain you can see beneath you and the kids had to start creating their contour map. Now I've sped this up about 400 times, so it's about four times as fast as what they built it. Um, and they didn't quite finish the contour map as you'll see towards the end. So the whole aim of this lesson was to get the kids to, to actually create a contour map using different coloured wool to show the different heights, just to give them that sort of visual representation about what was going on. Um, I was really impressed with with the attention and the focus on the task in the classroom. These, this particular class here did a great job and come up with, like I say, not quite a finished product because it was a much shorter lesson because we had to update the Minecraft Edu clients on each machine because I didn't have a chance prior to the class to do it. Now there were some hiccups throughout the lesson where kids weren't building at the right height and things but on the whole the kids did a really really good job of going back and fixing each other's work and helping each other out so group work in this particular lesson I felt was fantastic so you can see kids flying up and down and um, around trying to see how this contour map looks and the a weekend and a day after this particular lesson in class we sat down in a classroom, I drew a contour map that looked like this on the board and we sat down and discussed what it would, where they would climb this mountain if they had to get to the top and I was absolutely amazed at, at the depth of knowledge they showed to me in their responses. We did have some, some students say they wanted to start at the steepest bit and when questioned as to why they wanted to start at the steepest bit they said because that's the shortest distance up. So they were trying to, just, just in terms of distance and, and travel time, they thought, well, if I travel the least distance, that's going to cost the least amount of time. And there was another group of students that started on the shallow side where um, they said, well, I'm going to start over there because it's a nice, easy trip up, so I don't have to work as hard. And then we sort of had a bit of a discussion as to what that would mean in terms of time, who would beat the other one up. So it was really interesting and yet another student started somewhere else where it started hard so it was steep at the start of their walk and then shallowed off towards the end. So as I said I was just absolutely amazed at the depth of knowledge and throughout the lesson they were building at the wrong levels and the contour lines were going up and down so as I was walking around the room because I just left my computer recording as you can see here uh, as I was walking around the room, I would say to them, hey guys, the contours have to stay at the same height. That's the whole idea behind this. So they got that knowledge as well. Now, they weren't supposed to be terraforming the mountain, but you can see some students were. But I'm not that fussed about it because, they, like I say, they, they really, really understood the whole idea behind contour maps. Um, that's pretty much it for this recording. I think it's got about 30 seconds or so to go. So I'll say a big thank you for watching. Sorry about the dodgy audio quality. My good headset mic is broken and hopefully a new one will be here shortly so that I can do proper recordings outside of classes again without the dodgy audio. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time, guys.